everyone. Um, today I'm going to be talking about kindergarten readiness and direction following skills. My first video was on gross motor skills and this one I will be focusing on direction following. So direction following skills are important because being able to follow instructions is important in everyday life for in school, at home, and then when we grow up and get our first jobs. So when you are transitioning from preschool to kindergarten, there is higher expectations. This includes ag academic expectations. And to be able to succeed in these, we need to follow directions. So some instructions require children to attend to the spoken language. So they have to hear the language and then they have to sequence the information in the proper order to be able to follow the directions. And then if they can't recall or can't remember, then they need to be able to ask and to get the information again. If the child does not develop the skills to follow directions, then it can lead to negative behaviors in school and at home. And it can also lead to not being successful in the academic program due to not being able to understand written or verbal instructions. And then difficulty with sequencing or planning a multiple activity is another consequence of a child not being able to follow directions. So after the introduction, I am going to now be giving you some tips and tricks on how to help your child learn how to follow directions and help you to teach them how to follow directions. So the first tip is to gain their eye contact. This will include using verbal cues such as eyes please and then that way your child is receiving the information and being able to visually process the information as well. So you also need to Tip number two is to start with one-step directions. This will include um, giving your child one step, so maybe asking them to go brush their teeth. And then after that, you can then add more steps after that. So they need to master the one step and then come back and you can give two steps. So two steps instructions will be the next step and that would be maybe go brush your teeth and then get your pajamas on. So with that, we can use the first and then is the next tip. So with the first and then, you will place what you are asking them to do first, and then you will place what you're asking them to do second and the then. And this adds another visual cue to help your child process by verbally hearing the instructions and then visually seeing the instructions. So with that, you can either just draw or a picture of what you want them to do, or you can simply print out um, what you want your child to do. So for example, I have clean up toys and then brushing teeth. So what you will do is just cut them out and you can do this one time and then keep printing things off if it works for your child or you can um, add Velcro to them to be able to reuse them. So today I'm just going to use, cut them out and put a piece of tape on them. and put them in the first and then. So as I said, you'll start with one step instructions and then now you can move to two steps once they mastered that. So we need to grab our tape. And we want our child to be able to first clean up their toys. So put that in the first, tape it to the first. And then we need want them to brush their teeth for bed. So we will tape the second one onto the bin. And that way your child has a visual reminder of what they're supposed to do to be able to follow the directions. 
Okay, so the next tip is to keep it the language clear. So if you don't have to add a bunch of language, then don't. Just keep it simple for your child to be able to remember and recall the information quickly. And then the next tip you can do is to have your child repeat it back to you after you say it. So I will present this to them and say, first clean up your toys, then brush your teeth, and then I will have them repeat it by, I will clean up my toys first and then brush my teeth. So, and then if your child doesn't quite get it, then they maybe clean up their toys and then forget what they're supposed to do next. You can encourage um, them to repeat, have the, you repeat it. So have them, can you repeat this please? Because that will encourage your child to seek clarification, which is important as well. That way they're not getting lost in school and they're able to ask the teacher for that help that they need. So then after you do the first then then, that is the two step. Um, after your child successfully does this and masters this, you can add a third step. So the third step, a visual chart will look like this. So it's first, then, and next. So if your child is able to do two steps, you can move it to three steps if that's what you want them to do. Some improvement on following directions. It is great to add a fun level to it. So that includes um, activities for listening skills. Some would be Simon Says. So you need to start with a simple one with not very much detail, such as Simon Says, pat your head, and you have the child pat your head. And then the next one will be more detail if they mastered that one. So you gradually increase it. So the next step would be maybe Simon says, pat your head and touch your stomach. That would be two steps in more detail. Or, so Hokey Pokey is another great fun one that has music added to it. So with Hokey Pokey, you are instructing them what body part to put in, and that is a great one to improve listening skills. The next one that you can do is a great one that is red light, green light. So with red light, green light, you can either just start out with verbally, and if they needed it grayed down a little bit, you can print out pictures of the red light and the green light and the yellow light so that way they are getting auditory and visual information which will improve their listening skills so what we're going to do is just cut out these ones and then if you want to get really fancy with it you can add a popsicle stick and glue it to the back and that way you can have a stick to hold up when you want your child to go go or when you want your child to stop so also you can do this with your child which will improve some scissors skills as well which is important for kindergarten readiness as well So this will just be graded down so that your child is getting the information through visually and auditory, increasing their likelihood of recalling the information and improving their direction following skills. So another activity I have is drawing a picture from you describing it. So you can describe scenery or you can describe animals or anything that you want. So this is an activity that you can do with me um, and with your child through the screen. So the first thing I am going to instruct you to do is to draw an egg lying sideways. So we're going to draw an egg, egg laying sideways. And then the next one will be drawing a circle up above the egg and then a small circle on the other side of the egg. 
So the next step is to add ears. You want long, tall ears, and the more detailed you get, the more difficult it is for your child. So start off simple and then get more detailed as they get better. So, and then we're gonna add eyes, one eye on the circle up above. And then we're gonna add two legs, one up front and one on the back of the sideways egg. So then what we have is a bunny and you can do that with multiple steps which will be more challenging or simple steps such as drawing a heart with coloring it a certain color, coloring it green. That is a two step which is a little bit easier. So, the okay, the other activity I have is this picture that you can just download off the internet. So it is following directions activities. Um, so this one, you can read off to your child. It says, color the girl's umbrella yellow. So we will just color the umbrella yellow and then see if your child remembers or recalls the information that she's they're supposed to color the girl's umbrella yellow. And then it says color the boy's umbrella red. So we need to see if the child is able to follow the steps. You can give them one at a time. Or if your child is doing well at that, you can give them two at a time. Such as... Such as color two at a time would be color the girl's jacket orange and then color the boy's jacket green. So you give that both and then see if they can remember that. So another activity I have for you is drumming, tapping, and clapping rhythms. So I do not have a drum, so I'm going to use a bucket right here with me, and then we're going to have your child mimic the rhythm that you do. So maybe one, and so maybe a three step to start with, and then they mimic. And see if they are able to do the three steps. If they are, you can increase it. to a, another step and that is that or you can just clap and that is a good option too. Uh, the last activity I have for you to help your child be successful in kindergarten and learn direction following skills is obstacle courses. So obstacle courses that you give multiple instructions. So maybe start out with one or two instructions at a time and then increase it to three or four and see how well your child does with that. So I hope you guys learned some fun activities to help your child be successful in kindergarten. Thank you.